is a composer, a musician, a record producer, an educator, and a DJ. But even with all those careers, Lamar Harris is unemployed. COVID-19 has turned show business into no business. When work stops and everything is getting canceled, and it's like, well, I think I'll be all right. Then, you, then everything gets canceled past like almost September. It changes your whole way of thinking. Lamar was able to get help paying his bills for basic necessities from the Regional Arts Commission. In early April, it created an artist relief fund. The grant definitely helped out. A lot of artists live check to check to check the same way with DJs, check to check to check. No industry other than perhaps the restaurant industry was hit so dramatically. And so we created the Artist Relief Fund. What sort of response did you get? We've had, I believe it's over 600 or 700 uh, requests for funds. Were you able to fund all of them or half Absolutely of them? Absolutely not. No, we, we've only funded about 150 uh, grants to date. That's because one month after the fund was established, it was already depleted. To do more meant the Regional Arts Commission would need a creative idea, which, of course, is the specialty of the community it serves. This thing has ballooned beyond any of our wildest imagination. That thing is this thing, Arts United STL, a two-hour virtual variety show featuring performances by some of the best known and most beloved St. Louis actors and singers and dancers and musicians. The donations they hope to get will put money back into the Artist Relief Fund. The show will be live streamed on the internet through Opera Theater's website and simulcast on HEC TV on May 31st at seven o'clock. The idea came out of a staff meeting at Opera Theater. We wanted to do something uh, that would bring the arts community together to support the artists who are part of our community. Partnering with Opera Theater to produce Arts United STL is the St. Louis Shakespeare Festival. People are really bringing their absolute best to the project. It's blown us all away to see what the organizations and the artists are coming up with. And it's not surprising. In times of crisis, uh, you know, under real restrictions, creative people tend to be at their best. And so people are really creating powerful, moving testaments to what art means to our region. You guys are good at working under pressure. Yeah, you know, Duke Ellington said, I don't need time, I need deadlines. And boy, do we have a deadline looming. Artists know a lot of people in a lot of other businesses are hurting as well. But they also know artists will be among the last to come back to work, especially performing artists, because it may be a long time before audiences can once again gather. Which is why they are hoping to gather a virtual crowd for their virtual variety show, hosted live from Powell Hall. Without people helping the community, the community would start just withering away. We need creatives in our lives, and we need to support the creative community. Obviously, you hope people donate. Is there something you hope people take away from seeing the show as well? I hope people understand how artists connect us as human beings, as neighborhoods, as cities. I hope they see how the art and culture of St. Louis is what makes St. Louis what it is. And it's such an important part of our lives. It's not just entertainment or, or, or a luxury. It's a vital necessity. For more information on how to watch the Arts United STL Benefit Concert, look for this story on our website at hecmedia.org.